What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Welcome back. I know I was gone for like a whole five minutes and everyone's like, where's he at? Did Cowboy quit gaming? Did he quit YouTube? Is he never coming back? Y'all ridiculous. Conqueror of Zhongdong is now available to play. So uh, a lot of people were curious why I didn't do a, a walkthrough on the last DLC. Uh, it was just super short. Like we beat the whole thing on one stream. I expect we'll probably beat this one on a stream as well. Man, I feel like my face is super bright. I feel like I'm, do I look paler than usual, Chad? I feel like I'm just dying over here. Let me, let me try and adjust the camera. I bet it's cause, oh, hang on. There's a little clipping happening over here. We gotta, gotta nudge that. There we go. All right. <sighs> I bet it's because exposure is set to auto. Watch this. Oh, see, now I'm too dark. Now I'm way too dark. Let me... See, now it's just right. That's, that's, that's crazy, man. Auto exposure. It's like, you shall be a ghost. I mean, I'm pale right now. Actually, I'm not pale. I got a good tone right now. Coming out of the summer, playing volleyball. Uh, deliveries, Jean Chu longsword, puppet saber, etiquette. Cool. Let's take a look at the Liza P weapons. Uh, where do I find them? Oh, it has the umbrella, and it has majestic guard on it. Thrust the umbrella forward and take a defensive stance. Restores spirit upon blocking enemy attacks. That's cool. That's the saber. That sounds dope. I want to try it. That's kind of cool. Ice, ice, fire. And they add new magic too. They added a great sword. What? That's so probably new unlockables. Melee weapons of the rarity of four star will now have three martial arts slots. A random third will be assigned to all previously acquired weapons. Melee weapon of five are exclusive to Path of the Rising Dragon and beyond. We'll have an additional set of three martial arts slots. The ability to switch between is for six. We ain't doing no Rising Dragon. I'm just sticking on base. Looks very fiery. Let me, um. Is it battle? Inner discipline? It's been so long since I played well long. It's one of the, the few Souls S games. I just I I had no desire for new game plus. It's like I got through it and I felt like I was like my journey has come to an end. Kinda like Sekiro. Um where do I go? I thought it was battle prep. Ba yeah, battle set. Uh let's go. Water build maybe? Wait, I did not read that. What did it say? Oh, nope. go. Store genuine key has become available. You can store it in dragon veins. Yeah, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I don't. I don't need it. I can't level up, right? One fifty is still. Is one fifty still max? Yeah. So yeah, there's. Just keep it stored. my bonus damage chill malice and barbed nightmare all right all 
It's been a minute since I played. I think I can. Re I'll, I'll remember it all as we go. It's 300 level now. I mean, it's not letting me. It says require genuine key. None. 300 and soaring dragon. Got it. Got it. All right. Well, let's go. Dark tide rolls in. Yeah, I just didn't feel the desire to go through like all the new games like I did with Neo with this. It's weird. It just never. It never. Uh, I don't know. Neo, I was like, we're going to the abyss. This I was like, no, I'm good. その心差しを継いだ俺たちは敵地を抜け出る気を伺った。押し寄せる敵兵と血にまみれる味方を占め、ようやく俺たちは船にたどり着き、遠く離れた腹心のもとにも。Yeah, I remember using Cestus a little bit and it clapping cheeks. You have a dress up tank top? I, I wear a tux and I rip the sleeves off to let the guns come out. Gotta bring the guns out. Now, nah, for real though, unless I'm at, like, I had somebody asking, like, why don't you ever dress up? Like, um, there, the only two times I dress up is a wedding or a funeral. That's it. I might toss on, like, I'll toss a jacket on over a tank top if I'm going out to, like, a nice restaurant, but... These arms can't be contained, bro. Like, tank tops are so comfortable. Why would you not want to be in a tank top always? Jacket over a tank? Yeah, I can grab my jacket. Let me, let me get through the cutscenes. I'll go grab my jacket. Looks pretty good. Oh, the green dragon eyes are glowing now. So you. Hold up. Let me go. I'll go grab it. Watashiwa Sonsak no Gite, Shuyu. Azanawa Kokin to Moshimas. Hakufu Kikyu no Fu, who get a Kaketsketa no Desga. Doyara, Yodan or Yurusan Yoso. コロカンでの起伝のご活躍、尊敬様や白府から伝え聞いております。どうか、お力添えよ。ああ、see, looks good. You can go out to eat dinner and something like this. It'll be fine. Looks, it looks like you've dressed up. I mean, it's like the same same neck as like a t-shirt would be, so. It, wor <laughs> it, wor it works. It works, bro. You know, no one knows that you're sleeveless underneath. You're just, you're just dressing up a little bit. That's it. That's all you need. Just rock like a, a tank top or a graphic tee, throw that on, pair of jeans, boom. You're set. 
Oh, you're set. That's it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, nice dinner. Just throw a jacket on over the tank. That's all. That's all you gotta do. Ah, uh, you have marking fly detection. Okay. Put that guy on so I can see them. Oh, I can cast that? Hold on, I don't need to worry about morale to cast stuff anymore? That's cool. Probably not. I mean, I checked out Mirage, and honestly, I just don't think it's... I don't think it's for me. See, now it gets like a little gold icon when you're... They slowed that down. I can't I can't super spam it anymore, it looks like. I mean from what I played of Mirage, it just it it feels like oh. Yeah, it's Assassin's Creed. Like there was nothing about it where I was like, oh, this is you know, this looks new or this looks cool. It was just like, oh. It's Assassin's Creed. And like, if you really like Assassin's Creed, you'll probably have fun with it, but... Like... Man, I, I used to play all those games, and these days it just, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. I think a big thing is I'm, I'm a very... I'm a very combat-centric player. Like, you know, something like this that has, like, the dodging and the parrying and the using your abilities. And then you have, you know, something like the last game we were playing, the indie, where we're sitting there, we're going around trying to, to time parries on attacks and, and work combos and dash out and whatnot. Uh, you know, even Baldur's Gate, the, it's, it's turn-based combat, but you have hundreds of different options and figuring out how you're going to set up and maybe throw someone off a cliff and, you know, all sorts of different things that you're doing. And it's, it's very, there's a lot of depth. Whereas Assassin's Creed just feels kind of like, uh... Let me lock this. It just, it, it just feels like, you know, it's a thing. It's just like, yeah, it's okay. I don't know. There's just nothing, there's nothing about it that really, I guess, just like, calls out to me the assassin's creed combat it just kind of is like eh, you know it's it's, eh. it's okay yeah like when they when they first went to like origins i was like oh, okay this is cool this is a cool combat mix up and then they went to uh odyssey and i was like all right we're, we're more op than we're, we are before but still 
still the same same vibes. Um, and then by the time Valhalla came out, I was just kind of like, yeah, I think I've, I think this ship has sailed for me. I don't need another. Uh, kind of like, you know, it was, it was more of what I was already familiar with. Ow! Um, and now seeing them go away from that back to, like, the older Assassin's Creed combat, that I was just like, ah, no, that's, that's a pass for me. You know? I feel like there's, there's some people that like that combat, and if you do, great, you know, have fun with it, but it's just it's not, not personally for me. The NPC is speaking Japanese because I have Japanese voices on. And now you're going to ask, why do you have Japanese voices on? And it's because I watch a lot of anime and it just, I don't know, it just sounds good. I'm brushing up on my Japanese for when I eventually go back to Japan and retire to live there forever. Chinese speaking Japanese in an American stream. Hell yeah, brother. Mr. International. Hello. Uh, would you like to have a? Hang on, I gotta, I gotta mark some stuff here. I wish there was, is there storage now so I could like store other sets that I occasionally use? Y'all aren't on a set though. Your drop rate, your haste on deflection. I'll mark that. Lock. Uh, positive melee attack and lock. I'll need to like rework that. Okay.
weird crab man. I don't think Liza P is like Bloodborne at all. So to get that, I gotta like, I gotta jump from over, oh here we go. Like honestly, I don't know, like any, once you've played Lies of P, it's very obviously not like Bloodborne. Like it has nothing in common with Bloodborne. There's, you know, there's no dungeons in it. There's not really trick weapons. Um, I mean, you can rally on guard. But Bloodborne, you get rallied after you get hit in the face. It's obviously very, very deflect heavy. How do we want to do this? That's right, y'all are earth-based, so I should just keep pumping you full of ice. It's nice to see my builds are holding up just fine. I would agree. Lies of P is very much its own thing. There's, you know, there's obviously inspiration from a lot of, of different Souls games, but to suggest that it's like a Bloodborne clone, that's no. No, that's just dumb. Because there's not even enough content in it to... There's not even enough, like, Bloodborne <laughs> comparable stuff to make that statement be sensical. Yeah, if you had to make a comparison, the, yeah, Sekiro is the closest of the, the various FromSoft catalog that you could compare to it. Due to the parry-centric gameplay of it. I don't even need to see your ass. Ow. Oh, he's gonna blow up on me! Here it comes. Get the body. Any bosses need a nerf? I heard about being too difficult. I mean, they already nerfed a couple of the bosses. Um, out of the stuff they did nerf, the only one that I think maybe needed a nerf was the final boss. But even then, I felt like it was something where, you know, if you just, if you took your time, you could overcome it. I mean, I certainly did. Uh, I don't think Archbishop or King of Puppets needed nerfs, but it's whatever. You know, my experience is not comparative to the experience of the greater population, you know. I'm somebody that plays these games for a living, so. If I play something and I'm like, oh yeah, you know, that wasn't bad. I don't think it needs a nerf, but like, statistics show that, you know, 90% of players are struggling for hours, then yeah, it probably needs a nerf. I don't want a Bloodborne remaster, but I honestly don't think I want a sequel. Bloodborne doesn't really need a sequel.
Yeah, the Radon nerf, that was that was overkill. Radon was like a really cool boss fight. And they turned him into a big old pushover. Yeah, King of Puppets, I think, only took me like an attempt or two. I think the other thing that's that's weird to me is like there's a lot of players that they'll fight bosses and they'll refuse to use specters in the game. They're like, no, I'm not using specters. Ref uh, no, why would I use specters? And then they're getting bodied by the boss over and over again. And it's like, this boss isn't fair. And it's like, well, bro, the game, it gave you like 70 things to summon specters with. Why don't you use the specter? No, I can't do that. Like, all right, well, have fun. You're making the game harder for yourself and then complaining that's too hard. Like, this shit's nonsensical, dude. It'd be like, it'd be, it would be like if you were fighting the boss and not upgrading your weapon, and then you're like, yeah, this boss is bullshit, and it's like, well, what level's your weapon? Zero? Why are you fighting the boss with an unupgraded weapon? Shit don't make no sense. I defeated Millennia with my mech. My friend says it doesn't count because I didn't do it solo. That's that's because your friend has a very, very small penis. And the first time he ever tried to pleasure a woman, he had, couldn't do it with his penis and had to use a tool. And so his girlfriend told him it didn't count. And so now he's just desperately chasing after that same feeling for other people trying to degrade their accomplishments because he was told his didn't count. Such a sad mindset. I mean, I don't see. I don't particularly care about fighting a boss w without summons, because like, as far as I'm concerned, the summon is just another tool. You know, if if you're using a uh, if if you're using a, a thrown object in the boss fight, if you're using an upgraded weapon in the boss fight, if you like, it doesn't. You know, it's all. Those are all tools that help you beat the boss. Like, by the same logic of the, the no summons argument, people, you could just be like, Oh, well, did you, did you use a weapon art when you fought the boss? Well, yeah. Oh, man. Doesn't really count, because you had to rely on a weapon art. Oh, did you, did you use the fire bombs to knock it out of its special phase? Well, yeah, you're supposed to. Nah, man. Only real people beat the boss without items. Did you use the upgrades from the blacksmith to get a stronger weapon early? Yeah, of course. Mm. Sorry, boss fight doesn't count then. You gotta beat the boss with a plus zero. Like, hear how, like, think about it in those concepts. And it sounds fucking stupid. It, it, it all sounds really, really dumb. And it's the, it's the same thing when people talk about, uh, you know, you have to beat the boss using XYZ. Like, it's all, it's all dumb. Two years, let's go, Devora. Actually, it's probably Devoria. Yeah, cause, I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's everything. Leveling up, leveling your weapon, using items, using Ashen Summons, using weapon arts. Like, those are all tools that were put in the game by the dev team for you to, you know, to strengthen you, to make it easier for you to, to beat a boss. Which is why it's just, it's, it's stupid. Stop knocking my dude off in the water.
open it up. Yeah, if I find a good version of the new weapon, I'll try it. We did with the last DLC. We pulled out the uh, the fist weapons. They're pretty dope. I just never made like a proper build around it. Dude, Reddit uh, regarding lies of peas is the absolute worst right now. I can't even like. I like tried looking at at the lies of peas subreddit, and it's either people that are complaining about the bosses being too hard, or it's people complaining about the people that are complaining. It's like you. It's so ridiculous. And then I saw a post of people complaining about the people that are complaining about the complainers, and it's like, fuck this, this subreddit sucks. <laughs> Get icied. Alright, there's a big chungus up ahead. Still missing two flags, they're probably coming up. Welcome to the pain circle. Yeah, there are, are very, very few subreddits that I will will actually like engage with these days. The armored core subreddit's not bad. For a while, it was it was going through uh, through the same kind of bullshit I was just talking about, but. Lately, it's mostly just people posting memes all the time, which is cool. The Baldur's Gate 3 subreddits also, that's actually a really good one. The Baldur's Gate 3 community is phenomenal. Oh man, I'm whiffing the shit out of this. No, ah! I'm not reading it. Yeah! Reddit has such a weird... Yeah, dude, Reddit, Reddit people are... Yeah. Don't spend too much of your time on Reddit. <laughs> that's, that's the, uh... Where was that area where all the arrows were coming down? But I, I guess they stopped the arrow volley when I backed off. I can't believe they slowed down my sword spam. It used to be the funniest attack. I remember back when um when I went out to like the uh, the Microsoft event and they had me playing it. That ability used to be like super super fast, and so you could be like boom 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 boom. Like, I would have already done five attacks in the time it took me to do three. I made a Reddit account and had to delete it for some dumb reason. Sent all the alerts to my threads to my main inbox. I had, I, I had a Reddit account back in like the, uh, back in like the Dark Souls 2 days. And... It got like, it, it just got erased somehow. I don't know how. I like made an admin salty or something. And like, so, so the, the name Fighting Cowboy, you can't even get that on Reddit anymore. Like, one day I went to log in and it's like, you know, enter your password, enter your password, enter your password. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on here? Why can't I log in? And then I tried to log in and it's just like, that account does not exist. And I'm like, it's fucking weird. And then I went to just like recreate it and it's like, you cannot use names that have already been chosen. I'm like, damn. Yo, walk into this fire for me. Or he's gonna die in one arrow. Oh my God.
And then at one point I had uh I had somebody they created like a fighting cowboy subreddit. And they were like, I thought it would be a good idea. And I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't really use this platform like that though. And then so like I left I ignored that for like months. I just didn't use it at all. And then I like went on there one day and it's just it's people that I had banned from stream complaining about me. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like literally the whole the whole fighting cowboy subreddit was like just people that I had banned that couldn't bitch about me anywhere else. I'm like, y'all are some fucking losers, dude. Sword. Is that the new stuff? Let me, uh, what does it scale with? Uh, metal. Metal and earth. That's fast. Alright, so what did the hell about? There was a, a thing that just popped up there. When performing normal spirit attacks using long swords, it's possible to build up power. The longer you build up, the more powerful the attack becomes. Building up power directly after spirit attacks, martial arts, or deflects will shorten the time it takes to accumulate. The moving while build up will allow you to dodge in that direction. It's possible to deflect enemy attacks at the beginning of the dodge sequence. Doing so successfully will cause the maximum level of energy to build up instantly. Interesting. I mean, I would need to use a different build for this, so let me, let me, I don't have the stats at all on this build for it to be good. Uh, what was I using? Junchu. I mean, it's not like it really matters, I can just keep it on, I guess. Oh, cool, it's a goodbye archers. There goes that boy. Glad I came this way. Do you ever do unban requests? No. Not really. I mean, I've had people that are like, hey, I'm not sure why I got banned. And, uh... If we like look at their like if I recognize the name. Damn, my heels do like nothing now. That's weird. Uh but for the most part, like if somebody gets banned, they're just they're gone. Yeah, this is new DLC, it came out yesterday. I'm also I don't know, I just don't I think it's cause these days between like managing all the content of the channel and family time and day job, I just don't I don't have sympathy or time to like unban people so like if somebody does something that's dumb i just ban them i'm like man eh, fuck it leave because it's like it's not worth wasting the time to, to deal with them well why were you banned oh well you shouldn't have done this like no i just don't care I'm like yeah just go away go away don't come back go somewhere else which honestly is like what you have to do like I don't, you know, social, social media in general, like, you will be happiest in social media when you just instantly ban people that want to talk shit. Because the thing is, like, the, the people that want to take their time, and not people that want to, like, get in a discussion, but people that actually just want to talk shit and argue with you for the sake of arguing, like, there's nothing to be gained from interacting with these people. They just want to, like, all they want to do is just, they want to troll. They want to they wanna troll, and they want to bitch, and they want to moan. And at the end of the day, it's just, it's a waste of your energy, you know? Like... 
take take any any like online troll scenario and imagine it in real life. Like imagine you were you were out at like you know, you're down at tractor supply and you're picking up some stuff, you know, you're you're getting some grass seed and some idiots like I don't know why you're buying that. Obviously you should buy this grass seed. You'd be like Fuck off. <laughs> you just like you wouldn't even bother talking to the guy. Like somebody addressed you like that in public, you would call him a fucking idiot and then move on with your day. But for some reason in social media, people they they feel uh I know. No, I'm gonna tell you why you're wrong. It's just, it's, you know, it's just not worth the time, man. I'm gonna play Borderlands 4 when it comes out. Maybe Borderlands is kind of like up there with uh it's it's right there with like Assassin's Creed for me. It's one of those things where it's like I just I feel like I've kind of done it all, and I also feel like the last couple Borderlands were like, eh, this isn't really. This isn't really what it used to be anymore. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna drop it right in front of your ass. That was good. Enemy detection, more outrank point scan. Alright, neither of those really seem that good to me. Yeah, right, it was the panda that ate other pandas. That dude was a thick boy. There's probably one more flag, and that's gonna be at the edge of the arena. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it's just that. Like, when I when I think about games in a series, I feel like I want to see evolution. So, like, if you look at, at Demon Souls, you know, we go to Dark Souls 1, a couple things changed up. You know, there's the changes to the healing mechanic. Uh, you look at Dark Souls 2, we had the introduction of, like, power stancing. Dark Souls 3, we had uh, the weapon arts and whatnot. We saw that expanded in Elden Ring, but there's a clear evolution that made those games more entertaining. You know, new bosses, new adventures. Whereas, like, when I look at Assassin's Creed, I'm like, oh, this is still Assassin's Creed. This is still exactly what it was before. And it just, uh, you know, it doesn't... I don't know, it's just, it just doesn't do it for me. Same with, like, Borderlands, you know, the last couple Borderlands games, it's like, you know, you... Corny jokes, get loot, shoot bosses. It just feels like we've done it before. Damn. Those guys need some nighttime glasses. Next walkthrough, uh, maybe Lords of the Fallen? I don't know. It just depends. Not every game needs a walkthrough. Like, for, for me to consider making a walkthrough on the game, there needs to be a lot of stuff that's hidden and, and hard to find. There usually needs to be bosses that are going to require a certain type of strategy to progress past. Uh, a bit of obscurity with the side quests. It's, you know, there's a lot of different factors that go into it. Whereas, like, with Lies of P, from the demo, I was like, oh, yeah, this will need a walkthrough. And then when I started playing it, you know, when you go to travel, it shows you where to go for the side quests. 
Uh, you don't really get lost exploring the levels. You, they're, they're fairly linear with like short side paths. So there were a lot of things that I was like, oh, yeah, this doesn't need to walk through at all. This is, this is very easy for people to get through. Damn. This guy is throwing hands. Oh, this is the Pirate King, dude. This used to be one of my favorite guys back in Dynasty Warriors. So in Dynasty Warriors, his his special, he would use a scimitar and he would like flip it out and hold it like this. <coughs> and then he would just start sprinting while holding it and go boom, 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 boom. And you could gather up like 500 enemies with the dude. Put him in a corner. Bro, you're dead. Stop. <laughs> you're so dead. <laughs> Damn. I mean, there's plenty of new Dynasty Warriors games. It's just another thing where it's like I've 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 done it all, you know. They're all the they're very similar. The new Dynasty Warriors aren't that different from the old Dynasty Warriors. なるほどな。龍陽は単薬とやらで高等の民を取り込もうとしていやがったか。さよう。龍陽を打ち、孫作殿が新たな高等の領主となるのは大義にかなうことかと。上陽に滝殿に知らせたのも演術様が貴殿
battlefield. He who plays the jade flute. We're gonna do well. Should I? What do y'all think? Should I respec first and then try the side mission out? Let's go back to base. We'll respec and then we'll. Actually, I had somebody ask me like, why don't, why don't you play Neo anymore? Why'd you stop playing Neo? I'm like, bro, I've done everything in Neo, like <laughs> all hundred floors of the abyss, maxed out gear. It was like, what? What else do you want me to do? <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did the whole thing. It's like Monster Hunter. After you beat all the monsters, like I, I'm done. I have. <laughs> I was successful. Alright, so these are... So I want to do Metal Earth. Uh, battle Flag. Okay. What are the new things I have? The retreat. The big punch. What's that one? Oh, this is the one where it throws it out. So we're going to replace our... Why is this weapon missing one of its perks? Weird. Let me go take a look at it and see what's going on. Okay, yeah, you're supposed to be spirit damage. <laughs> Why is it just missing its thing, bro? It was like when uh, the last DLC came out and we figured out we could break down items infinitely and get, uh... We were able to just keep breaking down items and get perks and perks and perks and perks and perks. It was like, yeah, that's kind of busted. All right, so I have two to look at here. All right, let's try out the moves and then we'll figure out which of these swords we want. Ooh, I kind of like that. Slam and jam, okay. That looks juicy, I like that a lot. All right, and then let me More powerful when performed consecutively. So I'm supposed to like, uh... That's kind of dope. That's very aggressive. Or the single one, two, three. And the aerial attack. Okay, what about the other Jianchu? This one has... Big Ungabunga. I like Big Ungabunga. It's got the one, two, three, and it has. Hmm. Strike the ground forcefully. Use your long sword as an aid to keep forth an attack. Oh man. Can we change martial arts out? Yeah, it's basically Lion Claw. Oh man, um, because I like the aerial thing.
Did I have a flying general bow? I did. You can change them all except boss uniques? Bet. So I think I want... I want the, the one, two, three. Alright, let me go. Hold up. I want the one, two, three. I want Lion's Claw. Salvage. Uh. All. Uh, check all. Okay. Ooh, lots of stuff. Okay. Wait. Did I not? Hold up. I have them both. Okay. Okay, embedment. All right, now how do I, if I want to like get rid of King's Triumph, do I need to, do I need to break down the other one first? Swap King's Triumph with Well, let me upgrade it first. This is the one I'm keeping. Cuz what I what I think I would like is to have one to have that have that And then either uh, that one or I don't think I need that one. Probably the jump. So how do I special effect details? Do I need to do I need to pull them That's off? Or do I need to salvage it first? Salvage, check, uncheck. I guess let's just salvage it and we'll find out what happens. Out of the features, replace martial arts and upgrade martial arts. These features will be available after unlocking the endgame content, The Thousand Mile Journey. Huh. Well, spirit damage. So we got spirit gain from deflecting. So, what is on my other weapon? Spirit damage, spirit gain, haste upon martial arts. I mean, haste upon martial arts sounds really good. Maybe I take it off the other one? I don't really use this. Wait, no, haste is just movement speed. Is it an attack? Is it attack speed too?
Please don't pull them off. Pull what off? I want spirit damage on it. And then... Do we ramp up our spirit gain from deflecting even more? Do we just go, let's go pure spirit gain. Maybe spirit vulnerability upon martial arts. Or damage amplification. No, I think spirit, because we'll... Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm more of a spirit build. good to like use that as, to, as a dodge and do that arena blood pvp tournament yeah we're gonna host it when they announce the dlc is to like build a pipe look at that it tells you like what star you're gonna get and stuff they added so much stuff Uh, big sword scales off poison and earth. So we're, we went to our poison build. Which I remember was pretty potent. So I need to uh, check over it. Spirit consumption gain from deflecting spirit fervor spirit attack. Yeah, so this is going to do a ton of spirit attack for sure. And what do I have on for my wizardry? Increases the accumulation of all status effects. Oh, that's right. So I use that to then get poison earth and frozen on. Um... I don't really, that's right, I didn't really need any of those. I could go thorny ground, I guess. And then, um... Fiend Vanquisher was pretty... What was the one that was... It was a Lion's Roar? I mean, I'm mostly going to be using the, the new weapon. Look at it go! Longsword said, sit your ass down. Come at me like you're somebody special. This is pretty good, man. Y'all seeing this damage? 
Longsword is out here just taking lives. My god. Yeah, this is fun. So if I have enough, I can just go boom, 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 and keep spamming that. I feel like I shouldn't even bother using anything else. Like the ice and the the uh, the ice and the wood, they're just kind of like eh. Like maybe I should put on just buffs. My friend! Yeah, I'm about to go buffs and then the poison throw. There's really no reason to have the, the ice trap and the uh... The ice trap and the the other one. It's just it's not needed. Go uh big earth damage. He's fire alive, so he doesn't want to get poisoned. He's trying desperately to get up here, but he can't.
救援は望めないでしょうかしても力を呼ばぬようです悲劇な我が身が口を知えるSo we want snare. Probably don't need that. Uh, instead of you, let's go. Let's put lion's roar on. Let's put. Uh, maybe I do that. Hang on. Maybe. Wait, bound. And then we'll do boom, boom. We'll do that. And fiend knuckles. I might even go for another. I'm literally like the Unga Bunga man with this build. This is amazing. I'm missing, uh, this is the boss, but that means I missed a thing. Missed a couple. No, maybe it's just a midway boss? He's got a buffer. I mean, I'm not really... Yeah, let's go Fiend Vanquisher. And then maybe Rock Toughness there? No.
Dude, this is brutal. に心配をかけぬよう抜け出てきたのですが貴殿の目を盗むことはできなかったようですね心労をかけたことをおい尊敬様そして共に戦い散った尊敬の兵たち身勝手ながらこの地孔金心配をかけさせるなそなたを失う
I mean, we healed, but like, we still beat his ass into the dirt. Nah, we're not really farming. Someone was saying that the the longsword needed to be nerfed. And I was just showing that pretty much any build can whoop ass when you build it right. Only turn-based game I play is Baldur's Gate. James with the gift sub. Oh, that's new. I need to, I think I need to back dodge that. Oh my god! Fire build too slow! That's right, I gotta use my fire. I'm not using my fire at all. I forgot, this is supposed to be a wizard spell. It was a little rough until I remembered I was a, a mage. Hang on, I'm gonna do that one again. We're gonna rematch it. I forgot to use my spells. I was like, why am I not hurting him? I forgot this is like a mage build. See? Talk about Fire Bill getting its ass whooped. Get out of here. This bully the shit out of that man. I just, like I said, forgot. I forgot that that was a wizardry build and I had to use my fire. Alright, let's go back to the, the new build though. We'll do the DLC with that. Oh, da, 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 da. Oof. Apparently Ron's wife was swinging his dog around in the chair and it broke. <laughs> so he got his gamer chair broke. Oh, boy, Ronnie.
Let's look through. See, this is, I want to respect this because this is all wizardry spell damage, but that's not how we're playing this at all. We're going to turn this into like a martial arts machine. Bad man. Spirit vulnerability upon martial arts. Damage amplification. Well, let's do, we'll do that damage amplification upon wizardry. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go super hard on martial arts. Martial arts spirit damage, I think. And maybe spirit gain from normal attacks. And <coughs> don't really need damage. What do I want in my third slot? Negative effect duration on enemies. Maybe Toxin Attack Power. So I still am going to use my Poison. Slow on Enemy upon Deflecting is good. Martial arts are going to clap. <gasps> Slow upon deflecting a critical blow. It's a little situational for my tastes. Power drop, power gain, damage reduction, spear. I already, I already got spear vulnerability. So that all right, and then I don't need negative effect. Well, but I already have toxin power, so I guess that's going to be an extra six percent to that. So we have power gain, spirit vulnerability, damage amplification on enemy. 
But I think that's only when that's equipped. Damage amp. So if we have spirit vulnerability on martial arts and damage amp on the enemy upon wizardry and then power gain. Alright, yeah, we're good. Now this this just dropped earlier today. Anyway, let's get back to it. We're gonna travel, go to the next mission. I don't even really need the uh, status supply. Let me swap that out for something. Something that's more defensive. No flinching. It's either going to be great or it's going to get me killed. One or the other. Supposed to go around and that gets me the thing. Dude, I'm just pancaking people. My god. This doesn't even feel right. If this weapon was in the game at launch, I would have 100% done a strength build. was that? Yes, 
what is that? That's the charge mechanic it was talking about. And it said something about if I like... I think I can do that through an enemy's attack to hit them. I need to try it. Down, kitty. find a basic enemy so I can do that thing. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm gonna poke you. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna poke you and you can't stop me. Nah, that's the the sword itself has like a built-in charge mechanic. It looks like it's it's iffy because you can't you can't stop perilous attacks with it. Or if you can, the timing is super tight. Maybe you can deflect boss attacks with it. Could you imagine you get in a fight with a dude and he's like, I'm gonna get you, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking hit you with it, and you're like, what the fuck is this? What's this asshole doing?
Oh, you can! And then you can follow up with the big unga. I like it. I like it. No longer am I limited to the realm of normal, casual deflects. Now we embrace Longsword Chad deflects. I'm like Guts in the original anime, just sneaking up and stealthing people with my greatsword. Yeah, Longsword is busted, dude. I'm- this is super, super cool. I know people didn't like the Berserk anime, but I honestly don't think it was that terrible. Like, it was bad. Sure. But like, I don't know, man. I was still happy just to see Berserk being animated. Even if it was dookie CGI animation. I was still happy just because I was like, it's Berserk. So wait a minute, if I go... So I think I'm supposed to go boom, 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 and then go into the charge, deflect if I need, and then unleash my spirit attack for fat-ass damage.
remember on like episode four or five of the walkthrough, it got demonetized because I was like, what's happening y'all? Welcome back. We're going to continue along. And like I rounded a corner and a wolf attacked me and I killed it. And YouTube was like, violence. Like, what? It was like, what's happening y'all? Welcome back. Oh, this wolf thought he was slick. Anyway, let's get back into the video. And they're like, animal abuse. Like what? <laughs> Fuck. Digital wolf. Not Zhang Ying. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's bad ass, dude. Because I could do that and then follow it into a fatal. Get the hell out of here. I was like, I'm gonna punch you, and I'm like, this is a great sword. Punching nothing, get out of here. Though we are, we're probably gonna do another Baldur's Gate run. I think I might play a monk. I like respect and test that out a bunch of stuff. Um, the boys agreed to do a once a week Baldur's Gate thing. But I was gonna do Spore Druid, but I feel like I'd have too many minions and it would get annoying. So then I thought about maybe doing Warlock Sorcerer. But I mean, I'm like, oh, would I be, you know, I would just be blasting shit. Eldritch blasting over and over again. But Monk sounds like it could be fun. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. Damn, look at the multi headbutt. Long sword set. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Bro, those arrows are... Holy shit. Holy shit.
I gotta look at the set. A lot of good anime I'm going right now. weapon I like this game rank it four out of five son sucker you know it's she doesn't know どうやってレッスンを敵からの蜜着物だと。グローするか。お、お、お。お、お、お。A favorite this year, like favorite game. ユーヨが兵を捨てて撤退。奴の花と妖魔が敵味方見せかいなく襲っているもよ。Mm, armor core. Dual halberds. Oh, is that a oh, so it's a water build version of it? What do I do for uh, there we go. Don't like that. Serpent Slayer is the big head chopper. And the Honorable Rise is just an uppercut. King's Triumph, Deceptive Assault. It's kind of cool. You throw it. Reactive Slash. Ooh, I want that. It's like a parry. an earth version is that boom boom it's like a one two serenity of moonlight it's that one that I was looking at this thing, Ferocious Swing. Hmm. Looks whack. Uh, let me look at the set that that guy dropped. Soon's Elder Veteran. Spirit Sustain, Martial Arts Spirit. 
martial arts spirit consumption god i hate how slow it scrolls <laughs> negative effect removal upon fatal blow don't really like a set It's just this one, because the others are all set. Archer somewhere. Ow. Oh, my God, this fight's annoying. Hold up. Did we kill them? No, we didn't. They're all right here. God. Come on, we gotta get out of here. We're, we're pinned. I ain't dying to this bullshit. This way, maybe?
think I can come behind them if I go this way. I can also do some bullshit. No, God, that grab. Crab grab. Yeah, they added the fist weapons. What are y'all arguing about? Da, 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 da. Why are y'all arguing about game reviews? The stuppins were added last time. This time they added a great sword. Oh, spooky! What a spooky mask. You wanna come show your mask off, Dory? Come on, you wanna come show your mask? It's a monster! Ah! Is that spooky? 
to go find school. Yeah, it's spooky mask. Daddy, this. You want Daddy to wear it? Arr. Daddy, this. Thanks, buddy. Arr. Here, take your mask. Bye bye. What is that? That's a it's a spooky mask. Spooky mask. Are you going to check out the end game in this? Um, probably not. I just like playing through the DLC. I haven't done any any new game plus progress for any of the DLCs. We were talking about it earlier, the, the end game for World Long just didn't really, uh, it didn't pull me in the same way that it did for Neo. There's nothing against it, I just, you know. Sometimes something really clicks with you, sometimes it doesn't. But like for this, I really like the actual gameplay and going through and doing the levels. I just didn't want to do the, all the New Game Plus cycles. I think a part of it might be the morale system. Because I feel like I need to go collect all the morale. And unlike New Game Plus cycles, I could see that being kind of tedious. Uh, whereas, you know, Neo... Like, Neo's New Game Plus, you get to a point where... You essentially are just running as fast as possible. You were just... You were burning through the content. Super speed. I mean, you can kind of do that here, but... Improved a lot with updates. You can replay levels. You don't have to recollect flags. That's nice. I mean, I still wouldn't right now anyway, just because there's no time. I have too many games on deck that are coming out. Like, I, I don't even have time for all the games I want to play right now. But, um, I mean, I still like the game, obviously. I'm having a blast with this DLC. What's the last thing? We have one more arrow left. I'm gonna leave it just in case there's like a wall or something that I need to shoot down. Like that, that execution there. That is a clean looking animation.
Go up, go up. Jump across. Jump across. Oh, that's where you are. I missed two marking flags. This is this is final boss area. Where did I miss flags though? I did not notice any flags. Flags. I don't know why I'm going back. It's not like it really matters if I have all of them, but like I've gotten every other flag in the game. Feels a little silly to miss two flags at the very end of it in the DLC. It's further back. Yeah, I mean it could be after the boss. It's just it's rare that there would be a uh, a rest spot. Yep, there's one. We definitely, they are not after the boss. We just whiffed them. Yep, 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 yep. Hang on. I knew it. This is why I did not fire all the arrows. Farther back. Let's look. I don't remember seeing one on the radar. So it might have been like when I was in the thick of a fight and I just didn't notice it. I bet it's right past you. Nope. 
You were guarding a large genuine key crystal, though. I probably could have plunged him from up above. How do I get farther back? This was the start of the level, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah, I think this is the very beginning of the level. Because we were running down. Could have jumped, killed that guy. And then we go out here, we're fighting a bunch of stuff. There's probably another wall I gotta burst down. And uh, we had that ambush. Post ambush, we went this way. Swing around. Kill baddies, kill baddies, get the thingy. Go over this way, killed the baddies, came back this way. I'm over here, drop down, killed more baddies, went this way, baddies, 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 get lots of loot, came over here, killed more baddies, did some stuff over here, see like this is basically a walkthrough, y'all don't need me to do a series. Here, killed fireman. Fight our way past baddies. Kill the other baddie, and we're back at the boss. So where the hell is that last flag? It's got to be tucked away. I'm not even seeing it on radar. Huh. If I can't see it on radar... My guess is it's another wall I have to shoot down. Is there more over here besides the one little dude? There's that, but I don't think I can reach it. Um, I don't know. Wherever it's at, it is super well hidden considering I'm not even... Like, I have the radar search up, and I'm not finding it. What about up here? Hmm. I guess, should we just go for the boss? I mean, it's not like I need to have that last morale, it's more... It's annoying that I can't find the damn thing, though. Let's see, maybe somebody's found them all. Let's Google. Google... Most intimidating... Swordplay flags. Uh, no, there's no content on it yet. Huh.
I want to find it. We're finding that flag. I don't care how long it takes. Let's run through the level backwards. And see if we notice something. Like right here! See? See? Just had to go backwards. Don't do it! It's gonna turn you into a monster! Big fish. There's a third DLC coming in December. Fish demon men. Enjoy status afflictions! No! Oh my god! I got to No, come on, get up, bro. He's so fast yet so big. No, I think I'm dead. Oh, that hurt. Stand up. Stand up and heal. Stand up and heal. Poison! Oh, that's not enough. I need to poison him again. I got him. Is this a phase two? It's a phase two. Son of a bitch! No, 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 oh my god! Uh, I'm probably dead.
Damn. Boss just punk guy. <laughs> That's what it felt like, dude. I was like, I got this, and then he was like, but what if I went anime mode? And I was like, wait, what? I gotta, I gotta save my, uh, my debuff for phase two. Now that I know your bullshit. If I had that thing that's like block all elemental damage You fight now! Shit, my key is too low. Come on, poison! I need one hit! Oh! Lion's Fang, let's go! Great sword claps! If he had a third phase, I'd be like, oh! <laughs> that would be shit. I would get Bobby, yeah. dude. That's a really cool fight. I like that fight. Some really intense deflect windows. The warrior spirit. Purges the darkness. Dance, Tarumo. Chuko to say you need you. So, Shiru Haha no Koya. Ima no Kikoer. Narelo Tskaeta Monotachua. Giniwa Tskutomo Yuni Tobosku. Omonelu Mono Bakario Monjite. Wagachu 
生をかけた視線の果てについに見つけた<笑>そしてそなたらは闇に落ちた刀砲を救ってくれた七尺の剣を帯び天使の傷橋を登る男子の本会トゲルまで死ぬわけにはいかぬビッグフィッシュ Oh it's a whale! Wasn't it a- it looked like a koei fish before A koei whale That was fun. A little on the short side, but it was, it was a good time for sure. Two humano he, yeah, two humanoid boss fights that were dope. A monstrosity boss that was really good. Who's that? You obtain Yung Peng's Jade on swearing an oath. What do you hope from Rise of Ronin? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I want something that's kind of like Ghost of Tsushima, but a little more open worldy. That's a long one. That's it, that's all you get now. We got a bunch of side quests. We'll bang out all the side quests before we wrap up. I feel like the ice greatsword build might actually be really wild. <laughs> just because you could slow them on up and then just absolutely beat them down over and over. But the poison version isn't bad.
I wanna... I want the, um, the parry. The sword parry. I think that would work out really well for me. Yeah, it's very quick. And that's what I like about it. Usually you don't get to use great swords this quick. It's super satisfying. I will have thoughts on Lords of the Fallen after I've played it. Occasionally, I might do like Warzone with some friends, but like once. Are we back? That was weird. I got a notification that OBS crashed and then it like reconnected itself. Oh! Army of crap! No, no crap man! I'm really torn because on one hand I really like the I really like the, the wizardry build like the the ice wizardry build and the fire wizardry build are super super good but in terms of a martial arts build like martial arts straight up melee attack build the greatsword is out here just slapping man it is it is absolutely devastating the amount of damage this thing puts out. I will say out of the various weapons I've tried, this is, uh, I think this takes it 
pretty, pretty single-handedly. Like, the fist weapons were really cool. And the hook swords were really cool. A lot of different stuff that's really cool, but... Super speed longsword. Mm. That is... It's, it's hitting all the... Uh, it's hitting all the cowboy checkboxes here. Unga Bunga style weapon. Super fast. Does lots of damage. Has an art where you jump at somebody and essentially lions fang them. Has a multi hit. Has a parry that I haven't unlocked yet. Well, actually, I haven't locked. I just got to figure out the uh, the customizing feature. Is the the customizing only a new game plus thing? Because the only thing, the only downside is this. I don't use that at all. So if I had the, uh, if I had the counterattack that does like super heavy break damage. You want me to come? I'll come. Let's go, bitch. Sit your ass down. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Just beat the shit out of him. Did I tell you to stand up? Boom, 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 boom. This man had the audacity to say, I'm not done yet. Like, sit down. You are absolutely done. I missed a flag. I didn't think he was actually a boss from how fast he got his ass whooped. No, I missed a flag. I don't think I can even get it this late anyway. Where would it have been? Damn. Battle, battle, battle. Those are duels. I guess that flag's gonna get away.
どうやらこの辺りに不届き者が逃げ込んだようです奴は役人を殺めた男を野放しにするわけにはおたすいすいやんいえ我が言う存分に役立てるがいい It looked like I did a follow up, like a smack. I don't know, maybe it was only with them in combat. Listen on all the new content, he's not in New Game Plus. I mean, bro, there's tons of new content here. I'm having fun. Don't feel bad for me when I'm having fun. I'm running around fighting new enemies. I got my Oga Bunga greatsword finally. I'm having a blast. Oh, follow up in positive spirit. Good idea. the sneak attacks right now. <laughs> Gotta go fast. This thing is just like, I'm here to bully all of you. You want to have an attitude? Fine. We are literally explaining why you cannot change your martial arts when you keep asking, like you're missing half the conversation. Yeah, it might have something to do with the fact that I'm actually playing the game, so uh... Or maybe learn proper chat etiquette, like doing an at so I could actually see your comment instead of just throwing it out and assuming you're going to get 100% of my attention. I guess it's a newsflash that I only have one pair of eyes and I'm mostly focused on the gameplay that's happening in front of me. Be a man-child. Bro, you literally got butt hurt. That I didn't give you 100% attention. Fuck off. Leave. Don't come back. Want to talk shit? Get banned. Stay mad. Zero chill for fucking morons like you. Changes are good, DLC is really good. Alright, let's drop. Should just do nine of these every time to always get the thing. Fed every Shih Tzu and Conqueror of Zhangdong. Cool, found all of them. 
Yeah, dude, as soon as he tried saying, like, you get in an attitude, I was like, mm, this man is on the fast track to getting your ass banned. And then wants to talk shit after he got called out. See, but this is what I was talking about at the start of the stream. Like, I don't fucking know that idiot. He wants to talk shit? Get banned. Don't care. Damn! Tu Shang is out here getting just bullied. Here comes the choo choo! Chugga 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 chugga! is trying his best to survive. <laughs> I'm liking this DLC more than the first. The first had, uh, it was all right, but this one feels really good. Is there an achievement for getting all the flags on the DLC? Probably is, let me see. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, my achievements. What am I missing? 67 of 77. Sore oaths with all new allies. Eight hidden achievements. Sun Quan's resolution. Conquer all main and sub. Raised every battle flag. Summon Kung Peng for the first time. Sank all enemy ships. Defeat five enemies while hiding in the grass. But every Shiatsu swore all oaths. Eh. I ain't that worried about it. Kung Peng, Heavenly Crow. So we got three duels left. Uh, DLC is probably not free on Game Pass. I don't think that's ever been a thing, is it? Attack hurt. Oh my goodness! Oh, 
Nice finish. A one heal left. GG. This is a game good on Steam. As far as controls, I mean, I would, I would recommend playing it with a controller. I'm playing it with a controller. But yeah, I'm playing on Steam. It's good. Man, if you played, uh... Get back here. Woo! The drop kick! I might not be able to get Earth up on him. Ooh. He's very reactionary. I might have to go to back to the other build for this. And he has like he, his his punches. He's up to like all all three tiers. Dude, the hyper armor this man gets is an unreal. Yeah, I'm kind of playing a metal build versus fire. That's probably not going to work out. Oh my god. Longsword fighting style is insanely fast. Oh shit, I didn't even notice my health getting that low. Last time I fought him, I just put him in a corner. He's got some hands this time. Yes. 
白黒つけようかその程度か散らけさせるな being bullied by him. It's too small. I can't get him. When he starts hurting you, his hyper armor is insane, dude. Holy shit. doing so much fucking damage. I might just need to play this pure parries. This is me, I'd be salty as fuck. Why? I've done like three attempts. No! Ah, oh, I was close. I think that's the play, though. I gotta focus on parries and then get ice on big follow-ups.
I think I might need Earth. I just need I need to keep his key regen down. It's so high. His key regens uh, like even when I start getting him down, he's just like two or three punches and most of it's back. The mixed reviews on Steam were because when it came out, it didn't have like really good keyboard and mouse support. And that made people really upset. Which like, I mean, I don't know. Personally, a game like this, I'm like, this isn't meant to be played with keyboard and mouse. This is a, you know, this is an obvious, this is very, very obviously a, a controller type of game. Ah, that one comes out. The timing on that one is super hard. Man, I don't even know if I would get Switch 2. It would need to be, like, super good. Uh, my Switch basically just collects dust. I think it's too, because now that I got a Steam Deck, like, anytime there's something I would play on the Switch, I'm like, but why would I play this here when I could go on the Steam Deck and have Cross Save? Ah, shit. Well, it'll work, whatever. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> I was beating his ass and he was like, but what if I summoned a tiger? <laughs> the fuck? Oh, man. This is not run at all on Steam Deck? I don't know. I've never tested it, to be honest with you. Yeah, 
Superior build. Sayori, Korega Ukitso Yabrish Skara Yahari, Anata or Sonkin or Shoto Stemukairo Shikashi, Kono Tatakai de Eta or Shio Mune. Sounds good. Um, so let me take a look at uh, stop that great swords that I have found. I want to make like the ultimate long sword for my build. Hammer pull, like spear slashing, dual dual cestus long sword. Okay, it's got to be four star or better. Things triumph, deceptive, and over surge. So what are we? Oh, hang on. King's Triumph I don't like. Deceptive is cool. Mm. Divine Beast? No, it's whack. Alright, let me... Get rid of all this. Salvage. Ooh, toxin resistance penetration. And then let's go. We're gonna check out the the set, the water set. Alright, let's see. Lamenting Blade, Overpowering Surge, Great Winds Blow. Let's take a look at him. Oh, overpowering Surge is just the one, two, three. I do like that. Lamenting Blade. It's like a straight shot. And then... And then a ranged attack. It's interesting. What's this? Ranged attack damage, longsword spirit damage, 13.9%, and then movement speed increase while aiming. Hmm. Two of those perks are dookie, but 14% longsword spirit damage could be really good. This is going to level up as water, earth, Let me just try it real fast, so... It looks fast. I do like that. A quick ranged attack could be nice. I mean, it's going to have one less perk than my other one. 
spirit game. are 3% cheaper. No, I'd probably want to have better spirit gain in general. And the last one... What did I have on it already? Spirit vulnerability upon martial arts. Do I have another one of those? I could go power gain upon martial arts. And then. Spirit vulnerability upon deflecting. According to patch notes, you can now add mods of the same type as locked ones. I didn't see that. Uh, it's probably only at, at higher difficulties. I'm still getting a lot of scaling. Let me try this out. I'm just going to go in a fight with it. I just want to see... Uh, I just want to see how these attacks work. Uh, 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 this is the mission. I way over leveled this, so it's not going to be a challenge, obviously, but I'm more just interested in the potency of those martial arts. And then we'll wrap things up. That was it. Sate, Hajime Okano. That's dope. And it does ice too. That's pretty good. It's kind of hard to... Having a special attack that's going to do elemental damage. Especially if I put something on the blade like earth or lightning or something. Yeah, that's pretty wild, dude. And Tom with a bunch of gift subs. Yeah, I think that's going to put this one ahead of the, the competition. Because being able to apply status is so potent in this game.
even if I'm not specced for this, that's pretty, that's pretty wild. Because with this status set up, I can get Earth, Poison, and Frost up on a target, and then if I did a, uh, if I did like a Shock Enchant on the weapon, I could add that into the mix and be like a true master of the elements. I mean, I wouldn't have fire, but fire is just fire. Damage over time. Mm, do I have a... Flame Toxin. Lightning Enchant on the Tubo Cestus. I don't really use them. I think it's worth doing, and then take it. Oh, I had two, huh? Well, I guess I can put them back on the other things in case I ever pull them out. Okay, and then how do you uh, change scaling? Is that New Game Plus? And it's actually it's actually not that far off since I'm still uh, the other one is long, slightly stronger. This has better base attack. Um. Could probably respec this a little bit. That means equipment without fixed sets. Yeah, I need thirty for Fiend Vanquisher. So I'm not going to see much of a change. If I kept Fiend Vanquisher, I could... I guess I could... Hang on. I could probably pull from metal a bit. So I don't need that much metal since it's not the primary scaling with this. Let me do, um... What am I rocking here? 40 for Venom Snare. So... If I dropped you down to 40... Another 22 damage. Ranged weapon of power up higher. My deflect is gonna get me better. Yeah, I think that's that's good. And when I was still... Oh no, I was... Never mind, hold up. There was a weight, a weight thing. The 31 was so I could move properly. Yeah, that's the third 
Okay. But I still want to do this. The martial art and toxic setup. Spirit gain from deflecting. Spirit fervor. Spirit attack. Spirit damage. I mean, yeah, this all kind of... This just makes my, my spirit attack hit that much harder. Which I do like using that a lot with the premier virtue. And I have a little bit of ice that I can add into the mix. I have status application. I still have strong poison. I have defensive and then I could uh, on the second set if I needed it I could pull out ominous chill imposing slab molten I think is still worth it and then here what would I do here? Thorny Ground is just like a worse version of Deathly Bog, I think. Oh, would I drop Tang Shi? Pang, spirit defense while guarding, damage amplification, fatal strike, melee attack, spirit damage. No. I mean, Jihei for make my martial arts stronger could potentially be really good here. But all the negative effects is also really potent with Teng Shi. I want slow on martial art or power drop on enemy. Power gain is covered. Damage amp is covered. Spirit vulnerability. Power drop. Yeah, I think I keep it just the way it is. I like this. I think this is our, our build for the next DLC. We're looking good. Ba bum 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 bum. Uh. Oh, hit that double D. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll be a lot of fun for for the next DLC is a big focus around uh slightly different from my old metal build. We got that. Do that with the amplification. Apply that on. Obviously, we have uh lightning enchant on it. If you get past 50% completion in New Game Plus, you can raise your level cap to 300. Uh, I don't really want to do that, though. Because the thing is, I'm I'm playing... I am... Uh, I'm playing on Crouching Dragon. Like, I just... I'm not interested in doing the, the New Game Plus Plus. So especially because I'm playing on Crouching Dragon. If I was to... Uh, you know, if I'm suddenly level 300 on Crouching Dragon, that's not going to be balanced at, at all. What made you come back to Wo Long? I mean, there's DLC that just dropped. And no, I'm not from Texas. Oh, this guy again.
Big whiffs. I think I'm playing this slot. I think I, I got a little button confused. How's PvP and invading in this game? Uh, very similar, but obviously parry centric or deflect centric, whatever you want to call it. Oh, wrong time to do one of those. Wrong time for that. No, I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. I think I'm I think I'm playing around my my stuff too much. I need to just fight. I'm not interested in doing PvP right now. I'm actually ending the stream very shortly. Wrong button!
Oh, man, he got out of there. There was no PvP in Neo. Not Neo 2. There was a Neo 1, but it was terrible. Damn. That was a lot closer, though, considering this is still, uh... I think the longsword is a little... His hyper armor is outrageous, though, dude. Yeah, so you can't charge it. I see I see how to do the, the thing now. It's an immediate follow-up with your heavy. No health. Yes, this is a new weapon. <laughs> a really cool one at that. Man, you were just going mega aggressive.
If you don't like parry or iframes, this probably isn't the game for you. This game is all about deflect. Like, the entire game is about nailing the flex on your target. No! Oh man, the whiff. If it can take down Gan Ning, it's good. That's that's the test. Anyway, uh, we are going to wrap things up here. I am pretty happy with this build and how it's working. Because I would consider his build to be like a counter to this. Because my whole thing is getting all the elements up and then maintaining the elements with poison. And I can't do that against him since he's fire. So, if I can still get through an enemy that I'm not going to get poison on, I think that's a good sign that the build is where I want it to be. Uh, so we're going to store all of our genuine key. Uh, either way, we're going to wrap this thing up here for now. Pretty dope DLC. Uh, as for tomorrow... Probably... Probably some, um, probably Cyberpunk, and then possibly Baldur's Gate Saturday, and maybe, I don't know what Friday's gonna be, maybe Armor Core. Either way, I'm heading out. Y'all have a fantastic Wednesday, and I'll catch you later.